Hi, it's Michelle live from the She Shed today. I thought I'd do a little coloring, do a little chat. Um, today I might not be coloring perfectly because my um, I have a corneal abrasion and I had to take my glasses off today to color. So it's pouring down rain in Mississippi today and it is about 68 degrees outside and I'm out in the she shed um, waiting for any of my students to call me. Um, I'm an online teacher for a university here in the U.S. and uh, these are my office hours and right now since no one's calling me I decided I'd sit here and color a bit. I'm working on a fairy. I don't usually do fairies. They never really interest me a whole lot. But today I thought I'd give it a shot and try a new coloring media. I'm using CaliArt markers, Prismacolor, Spectrum Noir, Ohuhu, and I got a brand new set. I have to show you what I got. I got these brand new sets. I don't know if you can see all the colors or not. But I got these from Tuesday morning. These are the landscape series from Spectrum Noir. And when you know it, when I walked in Tuesday morning yesterday, it was yesterday? No, the day before. Friday. Walked in and there they were. Four different sets of, of Spectrum Noirs that I did not have to add to my collection. So I bought them. In hopes that um, I could add some landscape colors because I've got these beautiful Thomas Kincaid coloring books that I've been dying to color in but haven't had exactly the right colors for the landscaping because you know he used a lot of trees and a lot of bushes and that kind of thing in his art and I love Thomas Kincaid um, let's see that's blue I might do a little blue up here in this flower Hope you can see with my head in the way. She's coming along pretty good, I think. I love Thomas Kincaid. He was a great painter. And, and you know I love Disney, so he is a um, painter of light for Disney as well. So Tuesday, I'm really excited because I'm getting a brand new coloring book from Thomas Kincaid, Disney Princesses, and it publishes um, on Tuesday, and I've already ordered my copy from Amazon, and I'll get it Tuesday, so, okay, Kyle, if when you hear this, I've got a coloring book coming in, um, and another tray for my markers, <laughs> so there will be two packages on the porch <laughs> for you to, to stumble over. I think I'll color this blue, too, as well. My husband's really sweet about letting me get stuff for my art. He never says anything. He just kind of grins. Kind of makes doing your art kind of fun. But live from the she shed's been kind of quiet lately because I've been working so much. I've changed jobs. Um, I'm working for a behavioral health center, which is very interesting. I'm no, longer, I'm no longer doing med surge nursing. I miss my peeps there. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And it's a lot less stressful physically to me. Do mental health. Um, now I've got to do her skin tone. i got to do the right flesh color. So let me move her aside for a second and do a color swatch. She needs to be kind of... I don't think fairies need to be too dark. You know, they're kind of always fair skin. This is a Copic. I don't know if I want to use a Copic. I'll let you look at it and see what you think. This is from Jade Summer, actually, this color book. Here's the Copic color. So I don't know if that's the right color or if I need to go a little lighter. This is an, this is an Ohuhu number. Let 
The Ohuhu might be a little too tan. I'm not really quite sure. It's hard to tell. This is Ohuhu 25. This is Copic YR000 Silk. I think I might try the Copic. Try the Copic a little bit. I always put stuff behind my coloring because I don't want to get it all over my workstation. Let's see if we can. I can try to color something that's not quite as obvious that I can do her hands. If I can. Yeah, this might be the right color. I want her to be real pale skin fairy. That way her dress stands out against her. She even has nails. I'm going to have to do her nails. I had my nails done yesterday, actually. They're kind of a glittery color, gray color. I don't generally go gray, but the color appealed to me. I get them dipped. Of course, I thought the guy was going to take my finger off yesterday whenever he was filing them down. He goes, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It, it hurt. And then I couldn't relax and keep my hand still for him to mess with it. He kept hollering, relax, relax, relax. And I told him, I said, I'm scared of you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like, okay. Mason's in the house building with his new Legos. And he was playing Nintendo. My mom came over and played Nintendo with him for a while. We have the Mimi in the road. I go roast in the instant pot. Yeah, that's gonna color, that's gonna turn out okay. I think I'm gonna like that. I use a lot of colors in my coloring because you know I want a wide variety of colors, and that's why I try to use my markers that are um, of various different types. And I have a collection of gel pens that are outstanding. And then I have Bix and Sharpies as well. So I have a lot of alcohol markers. In the mental health facility I work in, um, alcohol markers are banned, actually. You can't have them there if you're a patient. And I never really thought about it, but the alcohol in them is the danger. So... For today's talk, I don't know what I want to talk about. I'm I'm waiting on Mason to come out here. He show you his Batman. He's been so good this week. He just started on Adderall about a month ago and we upped his Adderall and he is doing so much better in school. Oh my gosh. The teacher said he's sitting down, he's raising his hand. He's doing his work. He's keeping the chair on on the floor, which is unusual for him because usually he likes to rock the chair. Yeah, this is turning out real well. She's come out to be the color I wanted to be. Flesh time. So we have an upcoming trip to Disney. Woohoo! 40 days, no, 39 days left, I think, until we go. We are so pumped up and so excited, ready to go. And Disney has gotten so expensive. Oh my goodness. I almost passed out when I found out how much the package was. But we're going for nine days. We don't generally go less than a week because it's not worth the time or effort to plan the trip. My boss was kind enough to find a substitute for me so I could go on my vacation. Um, and then we're going to take a trip in July or August down to the beach on the coast for Mason so he and Lexi can play in the sand. It's hard for Lexi to get around, uh, especially since the new heart problems that we've got going on and she gets out of breath pretty easily and 
Her cerebral palsy is really not letting us have a lot of physical activity. So, basically she's more housebound than she used to be. And we are trying to find a vacation that would be suitable for her. And she decided with us as well that Disney was not going to be something we could do. Even though we could take her in a wheelchair, she still get too winded getting up and getting down. So she's going to go to camp, and she's going to stay with her grandmother while we're gone. We're taking a cruise next summer on the Disney cruise, and we plan to take her then. Yeah, that's that's looking better. How? What do you think? I think I think she's doing okay. Let me see if I can see her good on the camera. Yeah, it's coming along. So, Mississippi has the worst weather you have ever seen. One day I'm in shorts and no sleeves, and the next day I'm in long sleeves and jeans. Looks like this fairy's got a little cleavage, doesn't it? You see the darkness through this, just that springtime flowers where it's bleeding through a bit. Yeah, the weather is really funky down here. I think it's just stopped raining. I just heard it outside. I've discovered Spotify on my Google. I have Google out here in my she shed. My oh. apologies. I don't understand. <laughs> you hear her back there? She's trying to talk to me. So I've been watching Mama June from Not to Hot. Interesting show. I like Honey Boo Boo. She trips me out. But she's cute. And she's gutsy for a little kid. She was on Dancing Stars with the Junior Dancing with the Stars and didn't, she got voted off the show, which is unfortunate because us little girls, we like to, we like to participate too and it's not fair sometimes to get voted off just because of the way you look. She was cute and she's charisma, got a lot of charisma for a kid. Of course, Mason and Lexi do too, but. We're not trying to be stars. There we go. Now, how's that looking? Not bad. I'm going to pause it for just a minute. Go get Mason.